seem upset. No, it's a... It's hard. When I... When I... I tripped over your back when I, when I walked in here. It, seeing it... Go on. It, it triggered something. What? I don't know. Some kind of memory or... Of what? I am not sure. That That's the thing. I can't remember. The, the memory's gone. But it troubled you. Does that make sense? Well, it could be of no real consequence. Your body's getting back into the swing of things from the coma. I would imagine that a lot of the odd sensations will come with that. Yeah, I just, I just, I can't, I can't shake the sense that the memory had something to do with what happened to me right before I passed out. Well, it could be that your mind is trying to make sense of it by uh, going through random memories. I'm, I'm no psychologist, but that seems to be the most logical explanation, don't you think? Yeah, I, I suppose. I don't know. Listen to me. Are you listening, Emily? Sometimes it's best not to remember. Some memories are too painful. You need to focus on the future, on having a baby with Paul. Your body and your mind are ready. Time to get the ball rolling, okay? You're right. It's time. and find out. What conversation? Oh, good. You're both here. Hi, Emily. How are you feeling? Fine. Better than fine. Like nothing ever happened. That's wonderful. I'm back. Barbara. I'm gonna go um, upstairs and see my granddaughter. Excuse me, would you? What's going on? Hello? I asked you a question. I'm so happy you're home. Yeah, me too. Glad you're feeling better. I am. Much better. And I'm ready. You're ready? You're ready for what? To focus on our future. On making our baby. It's time to get the ball rolling. I was going... Are you serious? You're thinking about having a baby right now. I never stopped wanting to have a baby with you. Really? You didn't stop when you were in a coma? That's what you were thinking about. Don't do oh, that. Don't, don't, have a baby. don't act like that. What? Actually, I think for once, I'm the one who's being responsible. This is what we've wanted. This is what we've always wanted. It's, it's the reason for mixed treatments. It's what we've talked about and, and been excited about for weeks. I don't understand why suddenly you're so hesitant. Because you just got out of the hospital, and I don't think your body is ready to deal with having a baby. I am. I am absolutely ready. Why? Because he says so? Mick's not even a doctor. You're right. I'm not. So your opinion doesn't mean much, does it? Well, Paul, my treatments have been going very successfully with Emily. Yeah, until she wound up in the hospital. <sighs> Do you mind? This is kind of a private conversation. Of course. Well, Eliza, you sound asleep, and I didn't want to wake her up, so... Well, it's just as well. Emily and I have some things we need to discuss. Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I'd like for us to be left alone. Oh. Well, Mick, I, I think I am due for another treatment, if you have the time. Matter of fact, I do. Good. I'll call you later. Oh. 
When are you going to tell Paul the truth? When I feel the time is right. And when is that going to be? He's already far too suspicious of you. No, he's suspicious of Mick Dante, but he's still alive.